So if you're thinking about getting a trust for yourself, let's talk about the process of what it looks like to set up a trust. So when you set up a trust, what you have to understand is the trust is going to be built around you and your family. So who, who's, who are the people setting up the trust? Who are the people that are going to fill the positions in the trust? Who's going to be left over in charge as the successor trustee? Who are the beneficiaries? So the first thing we do is we gather some basic information. Information on the people setting up the trust, who's going to fill the positions in the trust. Then we set you on the attorney's calendar. You're going to then meet with the attorney. The attorney's going to ask you some questions. You're going to ask him some questions. At this point, we're not really worried about the assets because what you have to understand about a trust, you can't put assets into a trust until you create a trust. Think of the trust like a bottle of water. You can't put water in a bottle that doesn't exist. You have to create the bottle first. So the trust is built around your family. And so you come back in, you meet with the attorney, and he creates your trust. He will then set you a delivery appointment, in which case you will come back into the office a couple of weeks later, and we're going to go through the process of explaining your trust to you. We're going to make sure that all of the conversations you have with the attorney translated into instructions that, that meet your needs. You're then going to sign it. It's going to be witnessed and notarized. That's going to bring the trust into existence. So now that your trust exists, we can go through the process of putting the assets into the trust. So think about this. You've got this, this slide here with John Smith and Jane Smith, and they own all of their assets. So now we create a trust. We've got John Smith and Jane Smith here listed as co-trustors and co-trustees, owners and managers. Trust has been signed, witnessed, and notarized. The next step is we want to put the assets into the trust. The word we use for putting assets into a trust is called funding the assets into the trust. Looks something like this. Okay, so the first asset we typically put into a trust is the home. And here's how we do it. The way that you put any asset into a trust is you retitle the asset into the name of the trust. So this trust has a title, the Smith Family Living Trust. The day that you sign your trust would be part of the title. So it would be the Smith Family Living Trust dated whatever date that was. We take this title and we put it right on the deed of this home. We take John Smith and Jane Smith's name off the title and we replace it with the Smith Family Trust. And so now you've created a scenario where John Smith and Jane Smith own their trust and the trust owns their home. When you put the trust on the title of a home, it's going to own your home, everything inside of your home. It's going to own everything in the front yard, the backyard. It's even going to own your automobiles. It creates what they call a residual estate, which means it covers all your tangible personal property. And I mentioned vehicles because vehicles, they're kind of a disposable asset. A lot of people will buy a car every couple of years or every, every five years even. When you buy a car and sell that car and buy another car and you sell that car, this car will be covered under your residual estate. And I, and I mention this because it's not going to cause any problems. You don't have to change your trust every time that you buy a car.